ではあのこのセッションのモデレーターを務めさせていただきます。Then I would like to serve as the today's moderator. And my name is Grace Huan, and sitting next to me is the president and CEO of the NTT, Jun Sawada. And together with Mr. Sawada, I'd like to talk about the future outlook from the communication point of view. And、uh, Mr. Sawada, could you please kindly utilize the microphone so that you can be heard? Of course,、uh, your voice is very、uh, energetic, so I'm sure that、uh, you will be able to uh, have uh, uh, speak without the microphone, but I would like to appreciate if you do use the microphone.、Uh, briefly, I would like to introduce Mr. Sawada. Mr. Sawada, in 1978,、uh, has graduated.、Uh, Uh, from the Kyoto University, the T engineering、uh, majority, and then he entered NTT, and then he was in the well management、uh, planning, and then、uh, also he、uh, was、uh, stationed in the United States, and he was involved in the acquisitions of the foreign company, and uh, uh, starting last year he assumed the presidency of and CEO at NTT, Mr. Sawada. Well, your hobby. Uh, I hear that you are very much uh, favoring uh, watching uh, sports. Yes, various sports. Well, baseball, Ichiro. I think、uh, you have looked at the Ichiro's uh, resignation uh, game, and also that、uh, the, the first time in、uh, Japan the、uh, World Cup of Rugby was held、uh, in Japan, and then I think、uh, NTT had、uh, the previewing. Yes,、uh, the for the service. Yes, 5G. What was the reaction and acceptance? Well, in、uh, several places, the World Cup using a、uh, 5G. Well, we put the equipment to provide the services, and then we、uh, set up the booth so that the VR or the multi-screen、um, is possible to be、uh, viewed、uh, by the people. And then, so the uh, 5G uh, images uh, was broadcast. And then,、uh, according to the questionnaire, 94 percent, 94 percent said that they are satisfied or very satisfied. That was the response. So, in that sense, I think that uh, uh, I, we think that expectations towards the 5G is raised. So in the public viewing, so using a VR and also like、uh, the different angles of、uh, the athletes was possible to be、um, uh, grasped. Well, but I think it is necessary to have uh, preparations, uh, due preparations, or uh, it is uh, composing uh, real time. However, we need、uh, some kind of preparation to do so. Next year we have an Olympic game here in Tokyo, so I hope that towards that Olympic Games there will be、uh, new services emerging, and that is、uh, what we expect. Thank you very much. And also we are doing the sponsor, so for the Olympic、uh, next year, well.、Uh, uh, Taking that as a triggering point, we would like to roll out the various technologies. Okay, then the first theme today. Well, please、um, view this. So, like I like to ask that the with regard to the 5G, because、uh, we would like to talk about the 5G. But the very outset, I would like to pose a question, and I would like you to use the smartphone at your hand to do the polling, voting, so that、uh, they will 5G change your life、uh, the next、uh, couple of years. So this is a result already. So there's a various uh, changes at the present moment. It seems. Well, at the present moment,、uh, it seems no is a kind of、uh, more dominant. Well, 5G per se, I think, is、uh, only a tool. Therefore, utilizing the 5G, what type of solutions can be provided or the services can be materialized? I think、uh, unless you will be able to ima ima imagine that, I don't think that you have an impression that the 5G will bring about、uh, some drastic changes. However, 5G already, like a、uh, 28 kilo giga.、Uh, Uh, high speed is already being serviced. So in next、uh, spring, there's going to be a, a, a due rollout, and then in 10,000 branches, we are going to sell. That is the plan that we have. So the consumers. 
Well, I think that uh, maybe the most impact is that they will be able to have a uh, moving picture, so streamlines, like a TikTok with a poor environmental communication environment. It's a little bit difficult. However, with a 5G, I think the current text or voice or the image, so SNS, probably will be able to um, transform to the moving uh, videos or streamline is possible. So I think the application side uh, probably also will be able to utilize that, the video for the recognition, not only the human recognition, but the object recognition. So everything will be probably based on the video or streamlines lining uh, in terms of the application. So I think that will bring about the various impacts on the consumers. Of course, uh, it, I can say that how you view the sports is going to be totally changed. Other than that, well, that is for the consumer. That is what I'm talking about. However, vis-a-vis -vis the business, there will be a more drastic impact, I believe, like NTT. Uh, considers that uh, the 5G impact is the greatest on the company, specifically in terms of the productivity increase. For example, like at the civil engineering uh, space, it is possible to have a remote uh, monitoring, however, not to do the remote controlling. However, it is possible to do the remote control of the various uh, equipments. Uh, and uh, there's a factory automations in the factory, but that can be done monitor uh, the real time, not only the maintenance, uh, rather monitoring, but also the maintenance so that the productivity, or shall I say that, I think is going to be increased and also that will bring about uh, the changes in the competitions. Also in the agricultural field, there's a, uh, um, such uh, changes. In the, there's a fintech in the financial services, so maybe it is a little bit difficult for you to understand about the 5G impact, but then what will change? What happens if this, uh, the um, face recognition is going to be a video face recognition? And then what about the account settlement a settlement at the present moment uh, we are starting some kind of a uh, protocol like uh, if there's uh, some ATMs type uh, will probably uh, going to increase uh, without any man manned uh, branches so that the factory's efficiency is likely to increase. That is what you mentioned. So I think uh, that is uh, maybe uh, the 5G network. I think there's uh, three characteristics that uh, there's uh, the, uh, it is possible to have a uh, multi-connections and also the de low delay rate and also high speed. So I think this uh, low uh, uh, delay rate is very important and the non-delay is very important in order to not only to do the monitoring but also control. Yes, I think I think uh, the solution uh, that really requires a real-time uh, basis will be most optimum. So the automatic driving, like a level five, like a pr uh, the complete uh, automatic driving, uh, I don't think that is uh, possible to be materialized yet. That is because there's, uh, there's too much information. So the information processing at the present moment uh, will not uh, be enough uh, to, with the current uh, computing. However, the scheduled operations or in a certain areas, or uh, like if there is a low of uh, information uh, is needed, then I think uh, the automatic driving is possible. So in other words, that uh, maybe in the real-time analysis can be done uh, to predict uh, the um, accident, so that the mobility is probably going to be a conditional reaction. And for that, I think 5G is uh, the imperative, um, the must. So in that sense, I think uh, that the 5G or the applications of the 5G it will be utilized uh, not only in the public road, but also uh, maybe in the within the factory when it comes to the automatic uh, driving. So maybe in a certain areas uh, during of the factory where there's not going to be any human interruption, maybe that will be the most optimum places to use the 5G. Yes, uh, I think uh, there, uh, if there's a uh, um, progressions in the economy, I think uh, that will start. Uh, the start will be in that certain area, the closed area. 
uh, to uh, introduce uh, the advanced technology. And I think uh, that is going to be rolled out into the more public infrastructure. So f from the perspective of infrastructure, I think uh, the 5G will have a great bearing, not only the communication infrastructure, but probably it will be uh, going to inf uh, utilize in the industrial infrastructure commercializing this infrastructure. OK, I see. So against this backdrop, as you mentioned, like uh, when it comes to the time axis, well, I think uh, people are very much wondering about the time. So the automatic uh, um, operation, automatic driving, when do you think that the 5G will be in, will enable the automatic uh, uh, driving? I think uh, the, in the smart city or the closed area, in that kind of project, in the certain uh, limited area, I think uh, it will be possible to have this automatic uh, um, driving in a few years, in a several few years. So for the old public uh, road, I think uh, when we consider about the final um, uh, ideal situation, it's going to be maybe 10 years in time. That's what I think you mentioned about the, and, and there are many applications in industry and the consumer world in NTT Docomo. Up until June 2021, uh, you are going to build uh, 10,000 bases for the 5G communications. After the wide coverage is achieved, you're going to see the widespread trend and an industry applications. Well, actually, we have a partner program. NTT Docomo is currently partnering with uh, some companies. Uh, their number is about above 3,000. And we have made a specific trial. And we are con 215 organizations already conducting the joint experiment together uh, with us. Um, so in the specific areas, uh, we're going to set up the antenna or the basis for it doesn't mean that we have to go up to the 2,000 basis stations until it's a widespread application. By collaborating with the companies, we'd like to uh, spread and expand the numbers. So we have the partner models. So within five years, it's going to be 30,000 base stations we're going to build. Then we can cover 97% of the areas in Japan. That's very important. Sin you go for where the needs are, and with the growing needs, you tr like try to grow your business with the growing needs, in line with the growing needs, and, and, and I feel reassured. Yes, indeed. We have to make a big investment, but within the scope of existing investment, we have the holding companies, and uh, we have to ask the entity Docomo to suppress uh, the uh, you know, investment. But not only you know, given additional investment, uh, we'd like to lower the investment, actually, initial investment, in order to expand the 5G technology. If you go look at the global trend, the 5G technology is not a first of its kind. Well, the US and Korea, and they are the first one to uh, front runners to employ the 5G, te 5G technology. And now the 20, more than 20 countries are employing that technology. For consumers, uh, talking about the last years, we have turned from the technology from 3G to 5G is for the high frequency of the 28. Well, it's the same kind of level of uh, diffusions with a large capacity trend and also the low latency feature. We can fully utilize that system by utilizing these features. We're targeting uh, uh, the industry so that they can enhance the competitiveness. So we're not behind the trend. Oh, that re that's a reassuring comment. We have the trade uh, friction uh, between the China and the U.S. The far way is advanced in the technologies and 5Gs, but they're in the finance list. 
So the global telecom industry, it may be on a negative impact on the global telecom industry, I wonder. Well, that will be the, now we're seeing the big structural changes, not only in the telecom industry, but we have, we are now going, going, getting back to the disintegrated trend. However, in the telecom industry, we have the trend of globalization. We see the uh, Mr. Ota. Uh, we have to also cherish the both side, localization and globalization. So we have to look at, we have to realize the both aspects. While we're seeing a globalization, but we have to see the disintegrated localized areas. Well, from a faraway point of view, they have the U.S. customers, and the U.S. is the customer, their customers. Uh, basically, faraway products are not used in some areas. 5G's uh, technologies are mounted on top of 4G. So if we employ on a faraway technology in our company, we have to change all the uh, technology at the customer base. It will be most costly. It's not realistic. So we don't use it. For talking about terminal matters, 5G is for the smartphones or not, but I don't think so. Yes, it's utilized for smartphones. However, the, when we think of the implantable or wearable devices, and we have the initiatives, that is for the human run, you know. It's personalized. It's the device personalized to each person, body. So that will be the next generation value addition. So far away, we'll introduce and release other new technology. And the other companies also released and launch new technologies. And that will be a positive trend as a a future economy and a society. So as a terminal, are you going to employ the far away? Well, it's not, it's in, in the in US entity list and we might be removed from that. So we cannot, commercially, we cannot utilize the far away terminals for us. So uh, I have a strong message for me you that you're not behind the global trends. But if you look at the future of the next generation and the telecom industry, uh, you started a new initiative uh, for the leading in Japan. You're talking about ION. It's an in innovative wireless network. 5G is an advanced, uh, it's an uh, wire optical. Uh, we have to operate it in an open system on a software basis. Docomo is now proposing the all-run system. In other words, so we had more values on a telecommunication business. So the next generation or well, next direction will go to in that direction. But we have to think about the, you know, beyond that, we have to think about environmental issues and the power consumption and the data center is so huge. So the factor is the, on the chip. So we like to include the uh, photo. The next. So it's a semiconductor of the optical devices you replace with the optical devices. Yes, we have to replace that. Uh, we're uh, already working on it. Electronics and photonics integration. And we use the LSI based upon the model. And we can reduce to the one one hundredth of the uh, power consumption. And it's made possible. And uh, we link with that other competitors uh, technology like Intel or Sony or an entity, uh, we will be the pioneer. We are the core member of the ION technology, and 60 member, uh, 60 companies are already want to be in the communities. And Microsoft, Verizon, Orange, and Taiwan's. Chukadenshi and these seven companies are core members and they're okay to disclose their names. 
So in the future, we're looking at the optical transmission on the communication in the future. Now, uh, at the last minute, I'd like to ask you for the ION initiative. Uh, I'd like to ask the specific timeline to realize this ION initiative. Well, it consists of three, and I asked, mentioned about the optical. Multiple Foundation It's already released in Las Vegas. Some of them are realized, and all device specification will be decided in 2024, so it's not far away. And uh, we will provide uh, many application service for industry or game entertainment. But in 2030, uh, we will provide many more services and applications. Maybe there will be a smartphone that we can charge only once a year, or less than that, maybe. Well, it's very promising uh, comment. Thank you.